Okay, here we go. Hit it. 2.30 a.m. Time to rise and grind. First thing I do is grab breakfast. Wish I had time to cook, but I'm far too busy for that. It's been six months since I quit YouTube to trade stocks full time. Social media is nice and all that. I like to get the day started with just a nice casual jog. Just Mikey relax Mayo. the body. You know, get your, Sorry. get your blood pump and get a good start Mikey to the day. So but the real money is in the stock market. Now we can finally get to work. Stock, options, futures, derivatives, derivative futures, buy ComCoin. Take all your savings, put it in the ComCoin, then trade that option, trade that stock. ComCoin is worthless. I sold every last drop of my ComCoin. Sell, sell it, market, sell, sell, sell it all, stock, sell it all, sell it all, and then buy it. Got it. And that's just a day in the life of a stock trader, baby. I executed the stock trade, and it gave me money. So make sure to tune in next time for... Listen, I don't know how to trade stocks, man. I lost all my money on Robin Hood. I have no idea what I'm doing. If only there was something that could trade stocks for me. <laughs>Hi, I want to give my goldfish Frederick the ability to trade stocks. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh my Michael, God, you own I... a goldfish? And Michael, why haven't you posted a video in eight months? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this <laughs> is my idea. Right, 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 right here. We track Frederick's position anywhere he is in the tank. Then, every morning when the stock market opens, he'll be prompted with two random companies. He'll choose one by spending more time on that side of the tank. Then, the computer will take his decision and buy that stock with the money of whoever is sponsoring this video. But before any of that, we need to track fish. You might think I built my fish tank against a blank white wall because it provides ample lighting and doesn't overstimulate my fish. Wrong. I did it so I can write the detection software to just look for orange pixels of the fish and it won't get fucked up by a shitty, messy background. Here's some code I wrote that displays what the camera sees. It's not much, but we can add a function in that filters out specific colors, like apartheid. Then we can tell that function to filter out every color that isn't orange. Now this is kind of a complicated coding thing, so just try to keep up with this. And bada bing, bada boom, we got a color mask. But it has little speckles of shit in it. We just gotta sprinkle some post-processing code on there and clean it right up. I did not have to Google how to do that, shut the fuck up. Then we take that post-process image, find the location of this little blob of pixels, draw a circle around it, then take that circle, copy it, draw it on the original image, bada bing, bada boom, tracking fish, fish track. And honestly, that was most of the hard part. I just added some random stuff like the tickers and some logic, and I think we're ready to test it uh, without actual money, because I don't know if it works. Bop. All right, He's so you so should smart. see these lights turn on, including the fish tank one, because it's I wired it to this relay box over there, and the program should, should turn them on automatically. Anytime, anytime it will turn them. God fucking damn, is it broke? No, no, the lights are on. Boom, stick tickers at the top. Boom, the fish is choosing. He's favoring the MO one. Ooh, what'll it be? Ooh, what's he gonna? Oh my God, it fucking hurt. That's so amazing. The fish bought stock. Well, I mean, he didn't buy the stock, but like he chose the stock. That's amazing. He bought Altria over Boeing. Good, excellent choice. I think we're ready to hook it up to the actual stock market. Which is actually gonna be super easy. There's like a million of these stock market APIs that let you buy stocks with just a little bit of code. I'm gonna use this one called Alpaca API. They're all pretty much the same what though. And really all I have to do heck? is add a few lines to the fish code and yeah, I guess, I guess we're done. Yeah, Frederick can start trading stocks anytime. I'm gonna go upstairs and start it. What is that? What is Wall Street Bets? Oh. Wall Street Bets is a subreddit for dipshits who try to get rich quick on new stocks. We like the stock. We like the stock. Like this idiot who recorded himself losing $50,000 in two seconds. No. Their investments are not based on logic here. They're based on memes and tendies. Those guys are fucking geniuses. Their stocks only go up. Wait, what? Fuck, I could have built a bot that scraped the Wall Street Bet subreddit and just bought stocks based on what they posted there. Should I just start over? But Frederick already knows how to trade stocks. But those guys from Wall Street Bets literally Dupont, only pick Dupont. good stocks. You've seen GameStop, you've seen Tesla, oh. you've seen... You saw Frederick in there, he was Imagine, fucking Tesla incredible. Go up today. Just stick to the plan. Article. Wall Street Bet said it would be free tendies. What do you not get about free tendies? I don't know, I wish, like if only, if only I could make both and then pit the two systems against each other in a super sick competition of fish versus man to see which one makes more money.
Rogers takes an early lead by buying Nike stock. But those dumbasses at Wall Street bets buy Lucid and they're close behind. This is gonna be a f it's me, the bitch ass audience. Michael, you can't just represent an entire community with a computer program. Yes, the fuck I can. For this box of work, we need to know how Wall Street Bets feels about certain stocks. To do this, we're gonna use sentiment analysis, which is a natural language processing technique that uses machine learning. They were looking through my YouTube comments. One says, die forever, bastard. I hate you. A sentiment analysis bot Mark would classify Robert. that as negative. And if we look at another one that says, I think you're great. Also, I have a super cool Obama. robot idea for you. A sentiment analysis bot will classify that as super fucking negative because your idea probably sucks ass. To train a sentiment analysis bot, you need a lot of labeled data. So a lot of samples of text that are labeled positive or negative by a human. There are a lot of these data sets out there that are publicly available, but the text is like normal person talking. Wall Street bets. They talk about tendies and YOLO and boomers. Eat hands or paper hands. Stongs. Just YOLO. Very unique vocabulary. Therefore, I needed to make my own data set using their fuck weird Wall Street Bets language. So I went to r slash Wall Street Bets, sorted by top of all time, downloaded the top 10,000 posts, and all that's left to do was to label them as positive or negative. So I sat down with a nice cup of coffee and labeled the data myself. No way! <laughs> no, no. Oh. That would have taken four or five hours. I was gonna that's say. That's fucking stupid. Instead, I spent an entire month learning the React web framework and building a website that would allow users to log in and label the data for me. Then I tweeted asking Wall Street Bets members to give me their Reddit usernames. I then and plugged those usernames into the Reddit API, got the top 10 accounts with the most Reddit karma who were active on Wall Street bets. Those 10 people labeled 1,000 posts each, 10,000 posts total, and created the data set for me. And that's how you turn a five hour task into a one and a half month task. <laughs> because I'm a programmer, and that's what we do. I use that data set to train a sentiment analysis bot, and now every morning when the fish is trading stocks, this bot is going on r slash Wall Street bet. It's looking through the top posts of the day until it finds what it likes, and then it buys the stock that that post is talking about. No. So that's how that works. Let's get back to the competition and see which one is better at trading stocks. Insane things are happening, Michael, this right now. This is crazy what stuff going on. Interesting buy from Wall Street Bets. I don't know if the GameStop play is going to work out. People love games, Michael. They fucking love games. I Big tank from Wall Street Bet could be like another 9-11 situation. Fish is going crazy buying Costco and, and Facebook? Facebook? Meta. Meta. Meta now. It's a crazy day. There's a lot of volatility right now. Very confusing. I don't know where this one's going to go. I'm going to get an expert's opinion on this for sure. I'm gonna take. You're all set. Hey! This is Graham Graham's Stefan. He does financial in. investing videos and is also rich as fuck. Hello. So you do you have you do money? Yeah. I've watched their podcast. I love Graham Stefan. Money. I came to ask you questions. I'm gonna give you two portfolios. I just want you to look them over. Which one do you think is better? Oh, okay. What the heck? Okay. So one's cool. interesting. Now, portfolio two. Ah, Why is okay. So we got cool. a lot of the memes here. The market's been down. Pretty much everything has been down the last three months. Yeah. But if I were to, I would feel way more comfortable with the first one. What if I told you that an algorithm has picked all of these stocks? I would believe it. I'm going to give you the performance. Wow. The algorithm has uh, performed. Now, this is only over three months. For the portfolio one is managed yeah. by more by Frederick. Um, this video is about investing. Yeah. So like maybe giving viewers an opportunity to invest into a fund that is managed by my fish. So it's a fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. Things have been going crazy. What did Graham say? His money is on the fish. Peaks in the valleys for Wall Street's bets. It's better, it's better than bigger than anyone. They can win. But Graham's money is on the fish. I fucking hate you, Graham Stevens. Big fall. What the Big fuck fall. was that? Ah! What was that? Huge. It's not looking good for Wall Street bets right now at all. What is that? Oh? What is that? This could be it. It's climbing. <laughs> it's the comeback. It's climbing. It's to the moon. Yes. It's gonna yes. make through, bro. It's yes. gonna fucking make it. Oh, it wow. fucking died. The fish won! Let's go! Back. Let's fucking go, Red Red! Fuck you, Wall Street Bets! Get Jack. shit on, my Fish, fucking go! go. Red Jack, go. Go. <laughs> That settles it. Fish is the superior technology. So that's it, right? No. I think I can use this fish technology to create a legitimate business. I've been working on a startup proposal for the last couple of days, and I have a meeting set up to try and get some investors. So I'm gonna. It's like a venture capitalist startup meeting, except it wasn't that at all. It was like this weird fucking hype house for startup founders. So each one of these people has started their own company and the management has allowed me to pitch my startup idea to them. Hello everybody, my name is Michael. I'm here representing Reefly, it's a small fintech startup. You've seen it all happening already. Articles 
deals like this, this, what the this. Heck? A lot of inexperienced people are losing money in the stock market. That's where Reefly fits in. We have a couple of algorithms going. WSB, mainly sentiment analysis. The second, Fish, tracks analyst movements. WSB is performing well below market average, but Fish is outperforming the NASDAQ by some 13% last quarter. Honestly, the main reason I'm here is because of the performance of that Fish technology. It's performing very well, but generally, we think it can be performing even better. But Pretty I'm sure it comes liking. down to a few things. Tank it's health, amazing. clarity, like of the water, we're probably gonna be improving food and like better filters in general. Oh, I already covered that. We need to know how long the fish can perform. Looking into the data, the lifespan of this species is generally around eight to 12 years. We think that with better water parameters and more attention to the food, we can get it up to an outlier of 20 plus years. The fish's name is Frederick and that, uh, thank you. Do you have any questions? I have a lot of questions. So the fish is determining your stock picks? Yeah, it's fish. It's the it's well, it's fish is the idea. So um, we've got a front-facing camera. The fish is prompted with two stock. Whichever side it spends more time on, just that stock. Uh, do you have any more questions? You know, not everyone can see the vision, and that's okay. I'm not. It's not like I'm mad. I'm not not mad or anything. Fuck! 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 Why don't they understand? Fuck! <sighs> I guess the world just isn't ready for this technology. Oh All I wanted God. to do was get super, super, super fucking rich. But maybe I don't deserve it but I think I know someone who does. So I sold all the stocks in the portfolio and withdrew the money. This is the exact amount of money Frederick has made so far, $1,007.59. Wow. Can you believe my goldfish made this? And then I went back to where I got him. I got him from this tank. And now he's doing such big things. Excuse me, I'm looking to get some like better filters and food. They're really good filters. Awesome, I will grab this. What about food? Stuff like this. Oh, that's some fancy shit. This is incredible. Oh, the, the rest is for Frederick. Sorry? That was for Frederick, the rest of it? Frederick? Yeah, the rest is for Frederick. You can keep the rest. Frederick made it. Thank you. Wham, well, Michael, why did it take you so long to make the video? I don't fucking know. It feels like I blacked out for eight months and still somehow managed to procrastinate the video until the last minute like a dumbass. But hey, still faster than internet historian, baby. That's what matters. And as for Frederick, he made enough money to retire. He'll live out the rest of his days in fish paradise. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, you can subscribe so you can catch my next what upload in, in uh, 2025. Fuck? Shout out Michael to um, Frederick for Wonder making Grinder. this possible. Shout out to um, God, Jesus, Catholic Jesus. Oh, I made this poster for myself using the data from Frederick versus Wall Street bets because all the graphs needed to be in 8K, so why not? I figured I may as well sell it. So if you want it, you can have it. And if you don't want it, you do not have to get it. It is fucking gargantuan though. It's like my height. I mean, I'm a short fucking person, but like it's still a gargantuan poster. It's like five feet long. It has all the brands and when they were bought by like who at the exact times. It's very, it's, 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 it's lit. If you want it, you can go to my new URL. Pissbaby.art is no longer my store or whatever. I just didn't like the weird toilet humor. I'm trying to go in like a more elegant direction. Also, I forgot to renew the domain and so somebody stole it. So now pissbaby.store is my new best friend. It doesn't matter, you just click the thing in the description anyway. Yeah, thank you for watching. Yeah, okay, goodbye, see you in a year. In a year. Um, I don't know what's at the last two minutes of this, but I have, I realized I'm extremely late for the call.